In this video, we take a look at simple algebra operations in Max and how to set up these equations with the proper order of operations. Max has several simple math operations that you'll already be familiar with. Multiply, divide, add, subtract, and some others you'd also find on a calculator like absolute value, square root, and pow, which is power, so 2 to the power of 3 equals 8. So here you can see a little bit about how this works. I have 1, and I have a plus sign in here in a comment, plus 10 equals 11. If I change this number to, let's say, 5, 5 plus 10 equals 15. So I have a left operand coming in here, and I have a right operand coming in here. One key thing to remember when using these math operations, though, is that the objects have hot and cold inlets. So the hot are the red and the cold are the blue, and hot inlets will actually trigger an output. So when I change this, it triggered an output. I can do that again, and it'll trigger the output here. However, if I change the input on the cold inlet, it's not changing the output. So that is because cold inlets do not trigger output. But now, if I go and change an input into my hot inlet, it will trigger an output when I hit enter. So that can be a little bit confusing right when you first get started. Another thing you can do is change the object itself to have a default argument. So let's say I wanted to add 2 to everything. I could do that and everything that I put into this hot inlet gets added to. Notice though, if I put anything else into this cold inlet here, that'll override my default argument. The same is true for subtract and for multiply and for divide. However, when we get to divide, we have a problem. So far, I've just been talking about whole numbers, integers. But if you divide two integers, you might not get another integer. So for example, 10 divided by 2, I have to put that back in my hot inlet, equals 5. But 11 divided by 2 does not equal 5. So why is Max telling me that 11 divided by 2 equals 5? Well, the reason is because I'm using integers instead of floats. This is something I talk a lot about in these tutorials because the distinction is really important. So to get Max to give me the correct answer here, I have to do two things. First, I need a float box, that's this one, instead of an integer. And next, I actually have to tell divide to operate in float mode instead of integer. By default, it instantiates in int mode, but if I give it an argument with a decimal point, say one point, it will output a floating point number. 